Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Lyra from Fangirlish. How are you? Hi, Lyra. Thanks for having me. How are you? I'm good. Also, don't tell your husband, but I'm more excited to talk to you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, <that's laughs> so, um, my first question is Justice League as a movie has plenty of different kinds of women on its screen. Women like Diana, a powerful Amazonian, women like Lois, a brilliant reporter. Uh, what message are you trying to send with these different portrayals of women? Well, I think especially um, in comics and action, we've always been presented with these one dimensional action heroes of, of women. And to me, like Wonder Woman, what's so amazing about her, and I think what was important for both Zach and I um, to, to figure out when we were portraying her was to have this balance of like, she can be vulnerable and she can be good hearted and kind, but she could also be brave and strong and fierce, that she's not just one thing and she can be all those things. And I think having feminist roots, like hinting at that and, um, that's part of who her character is, was important to us. Um, I also think like Lois Lane, you know, when we set out to do Superman, we didn't want Lois to just be the one that was always being rescued by Superman. And, and in, in Man of Steel, I believe that her character rescues Superman just as much as he rescues her. It's very, you know, I think um, even relationship in that is that they really rely on each other and lean on each other in so many different ways. And she is such a, a strength to him as much as, you know, as he is to her. Um, and I think that that balance is, you know, something that's important, you know, to us. And I think every movie we make, I mean, having um, strong women represented on screen as well as behind the scenes, um, is something that, you know, we really strive for. And I think we make conscious decisions to do because, you know, especially in hiring women behind the scenes, like in technical positions, like a lot of times I'm on the set and you look around and there's a lot of men, but, you know, our, our um, first AD is a woman. We had a woman um, stunt coordinator on Justice League. Um, we, we really try and empower the women. Um, and I think it's like, again, you need to start with making conscious decisions and then hopefully it'll become the norm. But, you know, I think, I think there's a lot more awareness about the actors or the directors or what the content of the, of the movie is. Um, but a lot of times people forget about everybody behind the scenes and there's just so many jobs to be, you know, held behind the scenes that it's important to talk about that too. Thank you. And I wanted to ask as a producer and as a woman, what does it mean to be part of a movie with these messages behind it? I mean, everything we do, you know, you're working on something for years at a time. And, you know, for Zach and I, we kind of live and breathe it. And just because like, you know, you go home for the night, we tend to still talk about it. Um, so I think to be doing these epic stories of these heroes um, and also trying to make them relatable, like that, that to me was what was important is to have that balance, you know, because I might not know what it's like to have superhero powers, but I knew, know what it's like to kind of struggle and want to be a better person and, you know, um, to be on that journey. And I think, um, I just think you care about the characters when they're more relatable. And that was something that I think the particular stories that we've been telling, what was really interesting to me is that, you know, normally they're portrayed as the heroes that they are. And we got to see them now become the heroes that they are. And, and I liked, I liked that. I, I found that that was easier for me to latch on to and understand what that was. And then also more fulfilling at the end of Justice League when they, the accumulation of all of that. Thank you. And one last quick question, because I know we're running out of time. Um, out of the Justice League lineup, who would be your ride or die? Who would be my what? Your ride or die. My ride or die? Yeah, your like go-to hero. Oh my God, league. of course it's Wonder Woman. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it is, of course it's Wonder Woman. 
Wonder Woman. I mean, you know, for so long, there wasn't any heroes that I could look up to and identify with. And, and I felt like for my daughter and also for my son, they won't not, not know that because she's here. You know, it took so long to get her to the screen and to be a part of that, I think has been the most, you know, fulfilling thing for me. Um, and so, you know, young girls and also boys and, and people of all ages really can see what it's like to have this strong, balanced woman. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me today. All right, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful day and that the rest of your interviews go well. Oh, thank you, you too. Thank you, bye. bye.